If you're seeing more hair in the drain than you want, you need to watch this week's video. It's all about the Myel Organics CMOS Anti-Shedding Collection. Are you ready, my curlies? Let's do this. This week, I am doing the complete Myel Organics CMOS Anti-Shedding Collection. Myel Organics generously sent me the Anti-Shedding Shampoo, Conditioner, and their Gel Hair Mask. I am putting them all to the test for you today. And to finish it up, I will be using the Leave-In Conditioner as well as the Curl Pudding. Now let's take a look at how that Shampoo, Conditioner, and gel mask worked. I started with two pumps of the Seamoss Anti-Shedding Shampoo. Some of the key benefits are that it hydrates as it cleanses, it seals in moisture, and it's packed with nutrients. Some of those nutrients are found in avocado oil. I never knew that the ancient Egyptians used avocado to prevent hair loss. You learn something new every day. I did go with a second shampoo, which I don't normally do. Now, one of the other ingredients they use in the line is saw palmetto. This blocks the 5-alpha reductase, which is an enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. DHT is the molecule responsible for hair loss. You'll be happy to know my hair didn't feel like straw. After rinsing, I went with the CMOS Anti-Shedding Conditioner and my curlies, this is thick. I struggled a little, but look, it doesn't move. Now, every ingredient in this collection either encourages or promotes hair growth or slows down hair loss. Some of these ingredients are aloe leaf juice, almond, argon, avocado, and coconut oil, Irish moss extract, and rosemary leaf extract. After applying another two pumps to my ends, I went in with the Mayel Organics detangling brush to make sure it was distributed properly. I threw my hair up in a clip. This way, number one, it didn't drip down my back, but number two, the ends would stay covered with conditioner. They say to leave it in 10 to 15 minutes, and then I rinsed it out. I did rinse it thoroughly, and I'm telling you, when I rinsed it out, it felt smooth and not like I rinsed out all that goodness. But you know me, because I'm doing everything in one video, I also had to try the gel mask. The directions say apply generously to clean wet hair. The key benefits from the CMOS gel hair mask, it is lightweight because of the gel formula. It infuses brittle strands with intense hydration, deeply conditions, and promotes shinier, healthier hair. I did brush it through with their detangling brush, and then I threw it up in my clip for 20 minutes, Then I did put a bag over it. 20 minutes later, after I came inside, I took the bag off and the clip out and rinsed my hair thoroughly. This way there would be nothing weighing it down and I could really get a handle on what my hair felt like. Okay, my curlies. After I put in the gel hair mask, I decided to sit outside. We're having a really nice day here. And I decided to let the heat penetrate and do its job instead of sitting under a dryer. And when I rinsed it out, my hair felt really nice. It didn't feel like silk, like I thought it might, but maybe as I use it more frequently, it'll feel better. It's nice when I get to use an entire product line. Like I've mentioned before, it's always helpful instead of using a shampoo from here and a conditioner from here and a hydrating mask from here, styling products from here, it's better to use an entire collection and adjust the amounts to achieve what you're looking for. Now I'm going to apply the anti-shedding leave-in conditioner to damp hair. They say apply generously, but if I apply too much, I won't get volume. I want to see what the right amount is for this product when I'm using the rest of the collection. How about I start with two pumps? and see where that takes me. 
I'm going to start at the ends on this side. I'll do the praying hands. Another two pumps for the mid lengths to ends on this side. The best way to make sure that every hair is coated is to always comb through. I know back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, I didn't take a comb to my hair, especially when I was following a different method. But I have discovered, and maybe it's as my hair has thin, combing actually helps my hair stay a little more smooth. And I think it also helps to take care of that wiriness from my grays. I definitely will need some for this top section. Another two. Because my crown area over here always gets the most frizz, and it has twice as much hair, I'm going to apply another two. But again, this is just straight for the back and where I frizz and where my hair is thicker. Now we comb it to make sure everything is covered. I don't know, I feel like it needs a little more. More up at the top? No, maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. I'm going to behave myself and I won't apply extra. Because I want to try to get this applied properly, I am going to section. I know I don't do this very often, but I feel like I need to have a little more control over what I'm doing. Wow, I am running out of the curl pudding. There's like not much left in here. I am going to take, I guess that's a teaspoon. I think I'm taking a teaspoon. What do you think? It looks like a teaspoon. I'm going to use a teaspoon from this section right up here. Another teaspoon for the other section. I'm going to do about a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons for the top. Now for the back, where we have twice as much hair. This is about a tablespoon. I'll start, and if I need to add more, I'll add more. But I'm definitely going to start from the top. Now we don't know until we comb it whether everything feels like it's been coated. Now using the comb is not always what's recommended, but when you have fine thin hair, I feel like it gives a little extra control, but I will have to try the Denman brush as one of my subscribers asked if I had tried yet, and I had not. Yeah, I don't like that. Totally don't like that. Okay. I am going to flip and see what I can accomplish. Oh, it's a little crazy. A little Medusa-like. Wow, I haven't been Medusa-like in a while. I hope I get that Medusa back. I feel like it's not hydrated enough. I think I'm going for the curl pudding. Now I'm just going to be doing the ends with this because that's where I'm lacking the squish. And I like the squish. I'm used to doing everything and soaking wet hair, so I'm not used to something being so dry. I feel like that's a little better. I'm going to do another small amount on this side. Because of my new microphone, I don't even know if you can hear the squish. It's very little. It's not a lot. I am going to do a little more very up top. <laughs> very up top. Do you see how the movement comes when you have enough hydration? And
Now time for the clips. We know how I love my clips. Before you start to clip, if you see things that just look a little odd, check them out before you clip. This way, whatever it is, you can get that curl in or find where it needs to be before you clip. What does it want to do? Does not know. Oh, it looks like it's starting to do something. And if this one doesn't do anything, I'll tuck it. The old tuckaroo. Now for the back. And you know you've heard me say this before, but I will say it again. Your best investment is a handheld mirror so that you can actually look at the back of your head. Let's see, we want to lift and cover my swirl. Not good. And twist it up so that you're actually lifting it away from the scalp. Give it a little hold for a couple of seconds. Always look at your profile. Oh, there you have it. Okay, so we have a nice shape. I had a client the other day, and when I was clipping her hair for her before we diffused with the Bellissima Difon diffuser, I went to go clip the hair so that she had nice lift. And I was like, you don't need a clip back here. Your head has a very nice shape to it. The reason that I have to clip is that my skull in the back is a little more flat than rounded. She was like, no, I never thought about it. And I was like, here, feel. And she felt, she was like, oh, wow, it is flat. I have a flat head, my curlies. But some people need to clip for height because their skull is a different shape than someone else's. And that's what makes us all unique. Before I move on, it's after five o'clock. I know. You know what that means. I've been working on it since four o'clock. What? Holy shit. It's 10 to six. Cheers, my girlies. Way past five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> now I'm going to diffuse with the Bellissima Difon Supreme Curl Diffuser. And let's see what kind of curls I can get especially since I used the entire CMOS anti-shedding collection. Midway through the blow dry, I did throw in a few more clips to help get everything kind of up a little higher. And some things were a little flat, so I put the clips in. And then what I did is I put the Bellissima diffuser on low and I put it hovering around where all of the clips were. This way, the heat would allow the hair to take the shape of the clip, hopefully lifting it, giving me that height. And now we're going to take out the clips and see what we have. I put in one here, one here, one under here, and there it is. It's hiding, it's hiding my curlies. I can't get it. Okay, let's see what I can do without messing with the curls, because we don't want to cause frizz. Oh, it came out so nicely. I made a little frizz up top. I will fix that when we decrunchify. Right there. <laughs> do you know I never even looked at the back? Should we look at it together? Did I cover my swirl? Kind of, sort of? Yeah. I've done better. Okay. Here is a slight disclaimer, my curlies. I know I say do not mix products, but because the CMOS collection does not have an oil to act as the buffer between your hand and your hair as you decrunchify, I am using the Avocado and Tamanu Anti-Frizz Stay Straight Serum. Okay, I know it's a serum for staying straight, 
but it's an anti-frizz oil that's just going to help me decrunchify and keep my curls shiny. And that's the bottom line. I am going to start with the repumps, which really isn't that much, but I don't want it to drip out of my hand. So. And you see, there we go. Now, because it doesn't feel too crispy, I'm going to shake it out gently from the scalp, and then if I need more, I will add. Well, my hair isn't weighed down, which is fabulous. I look like I have volume. Yay! I like volume. Okay, some weird stuff happening over here, but remember what I always say? We are our own worst critics. We are the ones who focus on all the negatives, and all anyone else sees is our fabulous curls. They don't see what we see. Keep that in mind, my curlies. Now let's take a look. What do we think? Are they pretty? Shall I look too? Oh, they're very cute. Nice. Oh, very nice. And what about this side? Do I need the place? <laughs> uh, now that I have the entire collection, I'm happy. I like the way my hair looks. I like the way it feels. And I have volume. I have volume. You know what else I have, my curlies? I am up to 469 subscribers. Yay! I am so excited. I am so close to that 500 subscriber mark. Number one, you're gonna get my happy dance. So everyone needs to start thinking of songs, preferably from the 80s, early 90s, dance, well, maybe house. Come up with something that you guys want to see me dance to because it's coming quick. I was at 455 last week. It's Wednesday now. I was at 455 on Friday. I'm up to 469. Thank you, my curlies. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for passing me around. Thank you for sharing me like a delicious piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> Do not forget to hit that thumbs up, thumbs up down below. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. And as I say, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Well, my curlies, this has been another Frizz Free Friday. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. My L Organics generously sent me and their don't put it and their curl shit. What I'm going what I'm going to do now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to apply the anti-shedding leave-in conditioner. This goes into damp hair, not soaking. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong spot. Shit. I'm going to apply the anti-shedding. <sighs> wow, I'm running out of the curl putty. So. Can I redo that? Okay. Let's redo it just a bit.